So today we're gonna be, and by we, I mean me and good old Mr. Skeleton, also little Neens, my little Chihuahua, in case you're new here, is sitting right beside me, but we're, we got the whole crew here. Dallas is in the other room, so he's here too, secretly listening in on the Halloween scoop. And Bailey, of course, is here in spirit. So we're all here, whole crew's here, y'all are here. I'm ready, I'm so excited. I've been preparing all year for this video. So today we are, <sighs> Are you excited? Or is it just me totally nerding out right here? My armpits are sweating. So today we're doing our ultimate Halloween decor hunting shopping guide. I feel like we have to have some sort of spooky sound with it like afterwards. So our ultimate Halloween decor hunting shopping guide. Cue the organs. And if you've been around here for a while, then you may know the drill that we're getting pumped up and excited for Halloween already this time of year already. <laughs> you know, we've already been excited about it. But if you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited you came at the perfect time. It's just in time for the spooky season. So welcome to the spooky family. We are so excited to have you. In June, we have Halloween in June, which is our annual celebration with me and good old Mr. Skeleton, uh, where we drive around and look for the first Halloween decorations out there. Then we just continue from there. We do Halloween decor hunting videos where we go on the hunt in the car. Once again, me and good old Mr. Skeleton, and we check out all the stores, what's in there, all the things. Um, I show you everything up close and personal, all the collections out there this year, give my opinion on them and sometimes roast them. Not very often, I try to stay positive, but, but there was one thing last year, hand sanitizer situation. It was freaking pipe cleaners on it. It looked like a first grade project, but I got over it. I'm over it clearly. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And then I also do Halloween hauls so you can see some things I picked out and also a uh, Halloween decorating video. So we decorate. I'm going to do a bunch of areas of my house this year. So there'll be more added to that. So yeah, that's what we do. So if you want to stick around with the spooky family and hang out with us all season long, we'll be doing all the Halloween thing. I wanted to do this video today because I wanted to give you a full month ahead and it may be less than a month. I don't know when they're coming out, but we're hoping I mean, the sooner the better, but I wanted to get this out before June because they could be happening at any time in June and they may be happening earlier this year. I'm not quite sure. We'll once again, talk about that today. I've gone through all of my past Halloween decor hunting evidence. So I've gone back all the years that I've seen any Halloween and taken pictures of it. And I also looked at hashtags on Instagram and on the Halloween Forever Facebook group, which by the way, if you're not part of the Halloween Forever Facebook group yet, I'll have it linked down in the description box for you. You can see in real time what people are seeing out Halloween decor hunting. Uh, they post from all over the country and all over the world. So if you're wanting to know where to shop, when to shop, I'm going to give you a good idea today because I went back through all the different posts when people were seeing stuff and what stores they were seeing them at and I put together all of the information and came out with a really fancy actually you know me it's always a little bit of a mess anyways I took all that information and nerded out and put it in a spreadsheet today I'm gonna go through each month and talk about which stores I think are gonna be putting out Halloween in each month so we're gonna start in June and we're gonna end in October and walk through the whole process and just nerd out also gonna make some predictions on who I think will put stuff out early or later and that kind of stuff. So anyways, now that I've babbled on forever about all the Halloween things, I hope it wasn't too much. This is gonna be like a 10 minute long intro, but it was all important stuff I feel like. I don't know, maybe not. Anyways, okay, anyways, before we jump into this video, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video, which this is the most perfect sponsor for this video because we're talking about all things spooky today. So the sponsor for today's video is Shudder, which is one of my favorite platforms ever. If you haven't heard of Shudder before, I haven't heard me jab my jaws about it because I can't stop talking about it. Shudder is a horror and thriller streaming service. So if you like horror movies or psychological thrillers, supernatural movies, whatever it is, or if you know somebody who does, Shudder is the ultimate platform for all sorts of spooky content. And Shudder constantly has new content rolling out. All different genres, they have creature features, they have supernatural movies, they have full horror, they have uh, revenge horror. They have just about every kind of horror genre. They also have series and documentaries. And of course, my personal favorite, they have the Ghoul Log on Shutter. They have a couple of different ones, but it's like a Yule Log, like where you put it on your TV with the crackling fire, but it's a Ghoul Log and it has a jack-o'-lantern with a little flame inside and little background noises. Just a little Ghoul Log flickering in the wind. Just adds to the whole ambiance. Anyways, anyways, Shutter is normally $5.99 a month or $56.90 
99 cents a year, but you can try Shutter free for 30 days if you go to shutter.com and enter promo code Jade. And then from there, once you sign up online, you can watch unlimited spooky content from your iOS or Android devices, also Xbox One, Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. To get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural films and series with Shudder's expertly curated collection, including must-see titles like Hellbender, The Seed, and Sea of Me, plus all the best horror documentaries and hit series Cursed Films, which explores strange and tragic coincidences on allegedly cursed productions like The Exorcist, Poltergeist, and The Wizard of Oz. Once again, to try Shudder free for 30 days, you can go to shutter.com and enter promo code Jade. That's J A D E and get your 30 days free. Ugh, it's such a good platform. I think you're going to love it if you love horror or spooky content or even if you just want a little gulag on your TV. Also, if you want to let me know in the comments what you've been watching lately on Shutter, I always love going back and forth with you on different things we're watching. Anyways, okay, we're going to jump into this shopping guide. Anyways, I got my whole little Halloween decor shopping guide right in front of me, but I got to take a drink of water because we just had a whole intro of information. We gotta lube up the vocal cords for this because I feel like we're gonna be doing a lot of talking today. Anyways, you might wanna grab a snack or a beverage or whatever because I feel like we're gonna be here for a while because once we start talking about Halloween, we get into it. So really quickly before we get into this, I did want to mention that I think the dates, this is just a prediction looking at years past and all that kind of stuff. I think this year, the, the dates might be a little skewed because there might be stuff coming out earlier, but I'm not sure... So I know, I guess I should say this. I know because of last year and the supply chain issues, I know a lot of people are ordering things in advance. We did it for HO7S. We've ordered things really early so we can be ready to go for Halloween season and not be waiting for more product. I had also heard that Home Depot had already gotten a lot of their animatronics in. So I think a lot of people were ordering ahead just because they didn't wanna have stuff show up. Like I think last year we had ordered stuff in July and it didn't get here until freaking February this year. So I do think a lot of people are getting their stuff in early this year, but I don't know for sure. What I haven't determined is whether or not they're going to release it early. I know Home Depot did a pre-order for their 12 foot skeleton um, already, but some stores may put stuff out early and some stores may not. I don't know, we'll get into it as we're, we're chatting about this. So anyways, let's get into June here. <laughs> Might as well start this video actually. I'm gonna start with our Halloween in June favorite, which is at home. At home, and not everybody has an at home. At home is usually, it was one of the first places to put out Halloween every single year. So usually I have in my notes that in 2020, it was June 19th. And in 2021, it was around June 23rd-ish was the first sighting of Halloween decor at at home. I don't know why I have to do the at, at. I know it's just at home, but I can't do it. It's It just doesn't happen. And now I just feel weird trying to correct it. So we usually see at home arrive in stores in like mid to end of June, I would say. And it does depend on the area. I've noticed for whatever reason, it feel like it kind of goes east to west for whatever reason. The East Coast will usually get stuff out first and then the Midwest will get it. And then California is usually the last to see stuff at their at home. So if you're in California, I would say it's gonna be July, but start checking anyway. I'm gonna tell everybody to start checking your at home stores in mid June. If you're not seeing anything in June yet, check after 4th of July. Cause I think sometimes they just don't mess with it until after the holiday is over. Cause I noticed that with a couple other things here coming up. And also just to add to that, cause I'm getting all nerdy. I hope you don't mind these just like chill chit chat videos. I noticed at home puts out their plateware, their ceramic stuff, like cookie jars, mugs, all that kind of stuff seems to come out first. So it's like the first round of stuff early. Sometimes too, you'll see like, I think last year they had potion bottles, glass skull bottles. A lot of the glassware and ceramic wear came out first last year. So I'm predicting that's gonna happen again this year. And then as we get into July and August, they'll get more of their decor lines, like the actual lines that come out. But if you're wanting to get a look at all the lines and all the themes out at home this year, I think it's gonna be July and then early August as well. Also on my list for June, I have old time pottery. Last year, it was mid June when people started seeing stuff coming out. They had mainly their pottery stuff, 
like I know it's old time pottery, but they didn't have the signs out yet or anything like that. They had mainly tabletop decor and gnomes and little things like that. And then we went back for another round in July. So they're another store that continues to put stuff out as we get into July and August. I'm gonna say mid to late June uh, for old time pottery. So start once again, checking old time pottery at the same time you're checking at home. Also, I've been seeing out there already, like little pre-orders and stuff like that for the skeleton, the big 12 foot skeleton at home. Oh, why did I say home goods? Home Depot is what I'm saying. Um, so the big 12 foot skeleton at Home Depot, I believe there's like a whole Facebook group for the 12 foot skeleton. Like it's a whole 12 foot skeleton group where they help you find them and stuff like that. So that might be helpful. So I'm predicting in June, we're gonna see another uh, 12 foot skeleton release or like pre-order kind of thing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that prediction out there. Maybe July, but I'm wanting to say it's June because I've heard Home Depot already got their stuff in. All right, I also wanna mention Spirit Halloween for June because last year, Spirit Halloween sent out a whole PR package with a whole bunch of goodies basically saying prepare for so-and-so or whenever. And so I wanna say if we're gonna see some PR packages or some hints coming out from Spirit Halloween, I'm gonna say it's gonna be June. That's when I think we're gonna start seeing them making an appearance, showing up and getting the feelers out there for Spirit Halloween. So I'm gonna say mid June for Spirit Halloween, like PR, some announcements maybe, or some teasers for announcements. I'm thinking June will be that for Spirit Halloween. All right, so just a quick recap for June. I have at home, Old Time Pottery, both of those in mid to late June. I'm also gonna throw in there Home Depot 12 foot skeleton continuation, um, possible releases and pre-orders and that kind of stuff possibly some of their other animatronics, but I think that's gonna be July. Also quickly and last minute, I'm gonna add in home goods. Um, I think some of their last year overstock, some of the stuff that got here super late, I think instead of putting it out on clearance, they're gonna put it out early this year. And I've already seen on the Halloween Facebook group that they're already kind of putting out some skeleton or skull uh, canisters and some Halloween pillows. Also, I'm gonna add another last minute preview. I think Grand and Road could put out their preview at the end of June, but I think maybe a couple animatronic previews or a couple of decor previews. I would say if that's the case, it's gonna be end of June, like last week of June. But I'm hoping mid-June, end of June, we're gonna see at home and old time pottery at least. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it for June. Okay, let's move on to July. Let's take a sip of water because you know, literally talking my throat off. Okay, let's talk about July. So in July, once again, I'm gonna put at home at the top of the list because at home in July has, definitely has stuff. I'm gonna say end of July is gonna be the optimal time for at home to have everything out. So if you don't have an at home and you're like, move on girl already. Okay, here we go. Let's start talking about the craft stores because you don't wanna be fooled too much because a lot of the fall floral starts coming out way ahead of the Halloween stuff. So every year I get all excited. I'm like, oh look, all these pumpkins and orange leaves and blah, and then it's not Halloween. I'm like, where's your Halloween? And it's still not there. So Michael's last year, they started getting their little minis out, like their little dollhouse mini things and their wreath stuff, their Halloween wreath stuff, they started getting that in mid June, uh, no, sorry, mid July, I almost said June. I almost freaked all y'all out. Okay, mid July, I had the first sighting was July 13th, and then it continued to be posted through the 23rd as like the first sightings. Um, so the 13th through the 23rd of July. So mid to end of July, I'm gonna say for the Halloween wreath stuff, and the little minis for the little houses, like little spooky houses you can build and stuff like that. So Joann's, what do we got for Joann's? We have fabric, the first sighting for fabric. Uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be anytime. I've seen some people already on the Halloween Forever Facebook group post spooky fabric at Joann's. Um, so it could be June, I should have maybe put this in June. But I'm gonna, I have a sneaking suspicion that the Halloween fabric they're putting out at Joann's right now is leftover from last year. I'm gonna put that out there, I could be totally wrong, but the fabric I've seen posted out there looks like the stuff from last year. So if it could be just uh, that they're just doing the theme again this year or it's not out yet. I'm gonna say it's not out yet and I'm gonna say early July for Joann's fabrics because I know the Halloween fabrics and all the garland and stuff comes out early so people can start buying 
fabric and wreath stuff or whatever they need so they can have things ready for their business for Halloween. So I know I, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out earlier this year even because I think um, small businesses are like the demand is there to get it earlier and earlier so they can have their stuff ready. And then for their Halloween, usually like the last week of July, they may have out some pillows, some different throw pillows, and they'll have some mugs out. Uh, and they'll start putting out their bakeware, like their different little molds and all that kind of stuff, and the boxes as well, the little decorative boxes, that too. Um, those I'll usually see come out first, end of July, really early August, and then it's after back to school, I wanna say, before we see a full line of Halloween at Joann's and Michael's. So we'll get there in August, but old time pottery, I would say uh, optimal Halloweenage for old time pottery is gonna be July. I would say even, I don't know. You wanna get there early because a lot of the stuff sold out last year. So the more you check, the earlier you check, the better. But if you don't see the most stuff until mid July or end of July, don't be surprised. So Bath and Body Works, we got two rounds of Bath and Body Works that comes in. Sometimes both are in July. The first round is right after 4th of July. I hear July 9th is when I started seeing more posts. So I'm gonna say after the 4th of July is when you're gonna see the first round of Bath and Body Works. And you also see another round potentially at the end of July. I wanna say it's gonna be more like August, but it can be end of July. I think I started seeing other things trickle in, like the next round of stuff, end of July. So if you miss out on all the stuff at the beginning of July, you're like, dang it, my store was sold out. What a lot of people don't know is that Bath and Body Works will get that first round of stuff so everyone thinks it's the collection. So they buy it up and then another round comes in towards the end of July or early August. So what happens though then is there's so much stuff out already, like the early stuff at Bath and Body Works, really nothing else is out. Home Goods isn't out. Um, it's just basically just at home, Bath and Body Works and Old Time Pottery and that's it. So a lot of the stuff at all those stores sells out super quickly because there's a bunch of resellers reselling it. So if you miss out on that first round, wait until the end of July, early August, and usually Bath and Body Works gets another round of even cooler Halloween stuff. You can get your hands on that because usually the resellers are everywhere trying to get everything and anywhere. So it's it kind of dies down in all the different stores because everyone's selling stuff. So if you can't get the first round, don't worry, there's a second round. That's my little trick, my little secret. So Bath and Body Works, I'm gonna say early July for round one. I'm gonna say you can start looking after 4th of July, even a little bit before if you want to, but I think the stores are gonna wait until that last sale. Um, actually, that is what happened last year, isn't it? They had that big semi-annual sale, and then after that, they started putting out Halloween. So whenever this year, whenever that big semi-annual sale or whatever big sale they have around 4th of July comes out, whenever that's done, that's when they put out Halloween. I'm proud of myself for remembering that. Another thing I wanna keep an eye out for July, I'm gonna put Hallmark on here because Hallmark has, they release their ornaments they have it one on July, what is it gonna be? I think it's here, it says July 8th is when they have an ornament release this year. And I wanna say we're gonna see Halloween stuff in that ornament release. So I'm gonna say Hallmark we could see as early as July for some of their Halloween ornaments. And then I think for the rest of the Halloween stuff at Hallmark, I'm gonna say mid-August. Also, I've got here Target Online, their Hide and Eat Boutique is their whole, um, it's Target's Halloween line. Um, they have Halloween stuff all year round on the website, but it's like third party sellers or whatever, where it's super expensive and all this random stuff. But their Target stuff, their Halloween Hide and Eat Boutique, I'm gonna say July 13th. That seems to be a consistent date every single year is July 13th. That's when they announce, they show all of their stuff that they're gonna be putting out for the year. And they'll usually start their pre-orders or at least announce when their pre-orders are on that date. So they may say August 9th pre-orders or whatever, but they announce it on July 13th so you can see everything and know when the pre-orders are gonna happen. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be July 13th again this year. And the trick to that, if you don't get an email from them, uh, the trick to that is a lot of times it won't show up on the front page of Target. So you have to go into the search and type in hide and it's H-Y-D-E and eek. And that's how I usually find 
the stuff because a lot of times it doesn't show up on their page or it's not in the search like it's not easy to find also big lots online i have here july 15th so once again all these places after fourth of july if they're not selling it in stores they're selling it online and i think they do this because places like target big lots a lot of these places do back to school i don't think they have enough space in stores to have back to school and halloween in their stores so i think they do a lot of pre-orders um, or just online orders they can cash in on that Halloween coin which I'm not even mad about because they can take my money <laughs> totally fine with that um, okay so big lots online I have July 15th and for big lots for their Halloween starting to come out in stores I have July 24th for the first sightings uh, just like the first things that they put out but a full store I didn't see until August. So Cracker Barrel I have here. If you remember last year, Cracker Barrel was a new one everyone was freaking out about. It's been around obviously forever, but um, it was one that I don't think a lot of us thought to look for for Halloween decorations. So um, Cracker Barrel, I think July 13th was the first sighting that I saw. So mid-July for Cracker Barrel, I'm gonna say, once again, after 4th of July, I think you're gonna see a lot of people putting out Halloween who are going to be putting it out early. Pottery Barn Online, I have July 16th uh, is around. So once again, mid-July. Then Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, our favorites. And they're all kind of related. So they kind of all start getting stuff around the same time. So I have the first sighting as July 15th. That's kind of early in my area. Um, I went all the way back to 2016, I think to look at that and it was end of July, early August. Late July is when you start seeing a little bit sprinkle out, just a couple of little shelves or they'll get start getting in the ceramic stuff and that kind of thing and put those over in the ceramic section. But usually we don't start seeing the full on Halloween aisles, like the full on you walk in the store and it is in your face Halloween. I You could see it end of July, but usually around here where I'm at, which is uh, Kansas City area, Midwest, um, cause our back to school is mid August. You usually start seeing that like once all the college back to school stuff is gone, that's when they put out full blown Halloween. So it's usually early to mid August, um, is usually when you really see it. But some stuff does start coming out in July, very tail end of July. I'm going to say the last week, they may put stuff out early this year because I, I want to, I want to say they probably got a lot in late last year. So I'm going to say it may be earlier, but I just don't know where they're going to put it because they have all the back to school, back to college kind of stuff, dorm stuff. So they may wait and just have a lot of Halloween this year, which is possible because the last couple of years at Home Goods, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really picked over, really sparse because of the pandemic. So that's just my prediction. And now I'm once again nerding out about Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, but you know me. Okay, but I say here that in the group, most people saw Halloween by July 30th. Um, I also have Lakeside Collection. So Lakeside Collection is Halloween all year round. Um, but they start getting their newer stuff out, I wanna say in July. All right, so next I have 99 cent store. We don't have one in this area, sadly, um, because they came out with stuff so early last year and I was so bummed because it was so good. So I have 99 cent store. The first sighting on the Facebook group was July 20th. So I'm gonna say mid to end of July for the 99 cent store. Uh, okay, so PetSmart I have here as well. July 27th was the first sighting on the Facebook group. Um, also, I have here Ross, again, in my area at least, the back to school crowd, I know is really overwhelming and they were really short staffed last year. So they didn't get Halloween out until August, I wanna say. So it could be into July, but, but I'm gonna push Ross to August, so I'll mention them again. I also have here Kohl's for July 19th was the first spotting at Kohl's. So I'm thinking July, and I do think they come out that early. So mid to end of July for Kohl's. And I've hear that William Sonoma had their preview in July. And I wanna say probably Crate and Barrel, William Sonoma, I already mentioned Pottery Barn. I wanna say a lot of those places are gonna put out their Halloween previews at the end of July. Right, so also for July, I wanna add another little spirit Halloween in there because I feel like spirit Halloween Mid-July, I think they had the PR package that came out mid-June or maybe it was early June. It was June-ish and they were teasing the whole July, like I think it was July 15th was the big day for graveyard shift. Um, so I think July 15th and I've looked at years in the past when my brother has texted me because my brother and I get all nerded out about Spirit Halloween animatronics because my nieces love the animatronics at Spirit Halloween. 
Um, he had texted me before around July 15th as well. And that's usually when they start announcing or start slowly releasing their animatronics is around July 15th. So I'm gonna say same thing mid-July for their animatronics releases. Um, maybe early July, I'm not sure. I wanna say mid-July though for their animatronics releases. And then they won't open their stores till August and we'll get there here in a bit. Okay, all right, so a really quick recap of Halloween in July. I have a continuation of At Home and Old Time Pottery. They're gonna continue getting stuff in. I think we're gonna see the most we're gonna see in July at both of those places. We also have Michaels, which I think we're gonna see Michaels, of course, fall floral, but I think we're gonna see their Halloween wreath stuff and their minis in July. I also think towards the end of July, we could see Spooky Town and some ceramic trees. Uh, at Joann's, once again July, I think fabrics, Halloween floral, their decorative boxes, and bakeware, I'm thinking in July. They may also have some party wear, so plateware, napkins, also maybe some outdoor uh, signs and that kind of stuff we'll see at Joann's in July. Also, Bath and Body Works, after their big semi-annual sale or whatever it is that they have. Whenever that is over, then you're gonna see Halloween coming in. Also, Hallmark, July 8th is like the members shopping time, but July 9th is their first ornament release and Halloween ornaments are in there. Uh, Cracker Barrel, I also have for mid-July, could be early July, but I'm saying mid-July for Cracker Barrel. Kohl's, mid-July. Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx. I think all the new stuff, mid to end of July. Also 99 cent store, I'm gonna say end-ish, like second half of July. PetSmart, same thing. I'm gonna say end of July for PetSmart. Ross, also the end of July, but don't be surprised if you don't see it till August. And also I'm gonna put on this list Dollar Tree Floral. So I think there's a good chance we'll see the Dollar Tree Halloween floral at the end of July, possibly mid-July. But also I wanna mention some July previews and online kind of pre-orders, that kind of thing, but online shops that aren't quite in stores yet. I'm gonna mention Grand and Road again, a continuation of Grand and Road. I'm gonna also include Lakeside Collection and Oriental Trading in there as well. Also Christmas Traditions, those types of online stores that sell things all year round. I think they're gonna start adding new stuff in July. Also Spirit Halloween and Home Depot mid-July. I think we're gonna see their animatronic releases. Um, it could be early July this year. I wouldn't be surprised if they bump it up. Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, and William Sonoma, I'm gonna to add to this list as well. All three of those that kind of bundle them together, any store kind of like that, I think they're gonna put out their previews. Target, July 13th. They keep doing that 13th date every year. I think around that time is when we can expect their, their Halloween, like hide and eat boutique preview. Big Lots, mid-July, will also have their online stuff out there. Okay, we're moving on to August because basically August is when everybody and their mom puts out Halloween. Um, I have Kirkland's first sighting of Halloween at Kirkland's was August 7th. I'm gonna say the same thing out here around that time, around back to school. Um, so early to mid-August for Kirkland's, I'm gonna put out there. Target Bullseye Playground, which is their little dollar section. Um, there was a first spotting uh, over on the Facebook group August 7th but I feel like that's really early, at least for my area. So I'm gonna say mid to late August for Bullseye Playground. Usually I don't see it come out until a week or two before their Halloween stuff comes out. I'd say start checking, of course, beginning of August, because who are we kidding? We're gonna be looking anyway. Um, also I have Disney World. The first sighting at Disney World, Halloween was August 9th. So early August for uh, Halloween, Disney World, I've only been to Disney World once uh, when I was younger, so I don't know a lot about. Maybe people can fill, if you have any documentation on your phone from years past and that kind of thing, if you wanna let me know down in the comments when you started seeing Halloween at Disney World, Disneyland, that kind of thing. Um, so Tuesday morning, I have August, I'm gonna say August 7th is when Voltaire and I went last year, that's when the video was filmed when we went out Halloween decor hunting. And I wanna say that was the best time ever I saw it at home, by the way. I'm just gonna sneak that in there really quick. 
optimal Halloween inch at at home. I'm gonna say end of July, early August, but early August, that August 7th date, they had every single line fully stocked at the one I went to. So I would say at home, August, a lot of people like to get there, like I mentioned earlier, in June and July, and they like to, they, they think that they got everything they needed. But August is really where it's at at, 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 at home. Anyway, okay. So Tuesday morning, early August, early to mid August around here. Once again, it's usually back to schools when I start seeing it. Same thing for Dollar Tree. I know people start seeing their fall floral come out early. They start seeing the black Halloween floral come out early. That could be July for the black floral um, and Halloween floral. But I'm gonna say for fall, it's gonna be July for Dollar Tree. But Halloween is gonna be, which I didn't even mention before, but that's fall stuff, not Halloween technically. So uh, I would say Halloween stuff though, in my area, it's definitely back to school. So it's mid August for Dollar Tree around here because they have a whole back to school aisle uh, and they empty that out and put Halloween right in that place. So it might be later if you start school later in your area. It could be closer to September before you start seeing Halloween at Dollar Tree, uh, but usually they put it right in that back to school section. So I'm gonna say mid August every single year for Dollar Tree. And I have early August for Bath and Body Works. I mentioned that before. There's gonna be another round that comes through. I have here around August 11th, um, but I think it's gonna be early. I think it's gonna be tail end of July, early August, any of that time. And then what else do I have here? I have so many things on this list. Okay, Lowe's I have here, August 12th was the first sighting last year. Um, so definitely mid August, I think for Lowe's and Home Depot in my area, once again, that's another after back to school place. So mid to end of August, I'm gonna say for Lowe's and Home Depot, they could be earlier this year because I've heard they've already gotten their stuff in, like I was mentioning earlier. So it could be early, but I'm gonna say it's gonna be after back to school either way. I'm also gonna put Christmas tree shops in mid August, early August. It could be earlier. I thought I made a note of the very first post on the Facebook group, but I can't get on it now because I'm using this as a monitor. So Spirit Halloween, I usually around that first and second week of August. So I'm gonna say the same. It may be earlier this year. I keep saying that, but I just, I don't know who's gonna try to cash in on that July coin. Let me know who you predict will try to cash in in July, who doesn't normally cash in. Let me know down in the comments, but I'm thinking it's gonna be August for Spirit Halloween when they get their stores out. I think their online stuff, like you'll start seeing some of the different lines or themes that are coming out and the animatronics will be before that, but I think their stores, not until August. So I have Ross here again. Um, I think for Ross, I think I mentioned it earlier, early to mid August for Ross, I'm gonna say after back to school, although Voltaire and I saw it as early as August 7th. So it could be into July again, I don't know. It's just gonna depend on your Ross and your area and how busy it is and back to school and all that kind of stuff. I have HomeSense, which I think that's either UK or Canada. I have here August 14th was the first sighting over on the Facebook group, but I could be any time before that or around the same time Home Goods starts releasing stuff here, which is end of July, early August. Um, but that's just what I saw on the Facebook group. So I'm gonna say early to mid August for HomeSense. Uh, Michael's, I have August 11th. That's around the time I had looked all the way back to, what year was that? To like 2015, 2016, something like that. So for Michael's, I have August 11th last year and 2020 was August 14th. And it's always around that mid August time for Michael's. Um, I wanna say years ago, there was a time when early August, maybe end of July, they had all their Halloween out. They got it out super early, but that was one year. All the other years have been like 11th through the 15th kind of time around once again, back to school, whenever that's over, uh, that's when they bring in all the Halloween stuff because they usually fill in like where they have planners and all the school supplies, they put all the Halloween stuff there. Uh, but if it starts clearing out early, sometimes they'll put some Halloween in there slowly. Um, but I'm gonna say mid August for Michaels, but start looking early August at Michaels. Uh, and I would say also Joann's for August. I mentioned end of July, cause that's when some of their ceramics and pillows and stuff start coming out. Um, but I think you're gonna see full Halloween at Joann's mid to end of August. I, almost, I wanna say they were late 
for like several years in a row. But I'm gonna say check all the way through August at Joann's because it does come out in little intervals. But I wanna say that's the themed stuff really starts coming out closer to September is when you really start seeing that really cool, the themed stuff. I'm also gonna say Walgreens, CVS, all those places after, once again, back to school is gone. Uh, like all the school supplies are gone. They start bringing in the candy and the Halloween stuff. So I'm gonna say mid to end of August for all those places. Also, I have Five Below, mid August for Five Below, again, after back to school shopping for Five Below. So I'm gonna say mid to end of August for uh, Five Below. So then I also have Walmart pajamas. Uh, end of August for Walmart pajamas, but they take forever to put out their Halloween. I've randomly seen them put out stuff early, like mid to end of August after back to school, but it was rare. I've not seen it since every other year. It's almost October before they get their stuff out. But I think their Halloween pajamas are coming out end of August. I have Petco as well end of August. So I think I had PetSmart when did I have PetSmart? Oh, end of July, and then I have Petco, end of August. Um, also, did I mention Home Goods again? Because I think Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they're gonna have their optimal Halloweenage after back to school. End of August is when they're gonna have, so mid, middle to end of August, they're gonna have their full aisles set up with all the Halloween stuff. That's my prediction there. So basically, I would say anything that has back to school supplies that also sells home decor, Anywhere like that, my prediction is gonna be after all the back to school stuff clears out, whatever that looks like in your area. So it could be August, could be September. So keep your eye on school supplies. If they start taking out school supply stuff, you know Halloween is coming in. That's my biggest tip on that. So keep your eye out on a lot of stores in August. All right, so really quick recap for Halloween in August. Uh, we have all the stores from the previous months, but I do have at home on here again because they usually have another release, like another round of stuff that comes in in early August. Um, I also have TK Maxx and HomeSense for sure in August, both of those places saw on the Facebook group. And of course, once again, I have Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls um, because I think that's when you're gonna see full blown Halloween at these stores. Also, early August, Spirit Halloween stores are gonna be opening all over the country. Tuesday morning, also early August, I'm gonna say very beginning. Ross, also early August. Once again, tail end of July possibly, but I'm gonna say early August. Kirkland's I have for early August. Bath and Body Works round two for early August. Also Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. I forgot to mention Menards, but I'm gonna wrap it up in here. Yeah, I'm gonna say mid August for all those stores. Big Lots, full store. We're gonna see mid August after back to school. Uh, also Michael's, early to mid August. I'm gonna say more like mid August per usual at Michael's. They could get one or two lines out early, but I think full store, like fully stocked Michael's is gonna be more like mid to end of August. Um, and then Joann's mid to end of August when they get their full themes out. I also have all the dollar stores. So Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar General, all those places except for 99 cent store, which puts stuff out in July. Also CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, any of those pharmacy type of shop places. I'm gonna say after, once again, back to school. Five Below, also after back to school, middle to second half of August for Five Below. Also I have Walmart pajamas, potentially some of their earrings and jewelry. Sometimes we'll put that stuff out too in August. Walmart Outdoor, I forgot to mention this, but Walmart Outdoor, their outdoor pillows and that kind of stuff came out really early, way ahead of the Halloween stuff last year. Also, I have Petco, end of August. Nordstrom Rack, I would say that's probably early, mid-August. I also have the Grand and Road catalog for August. So if you get the Grand and Road catalog, that's coming, I believe it comes every year in August. Um, also Hallmark, the rest of the store. So not just the ornaments. Also Target Bullseye Playground. That's the dollar area at Target. I'm gonna say mid to late August for Target Bullseye Playground. Also at Target in August, I think we could see some Halloween pajamas coming out, Halloween outfits like, you know, shirts and uh, kids stuff, all that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna throw Disney in there. I'm not too sure when. I'm also gonna throw in Christmas tree shops. I found the date on that. It was around August 10th. So mid August for Christmas tree shops. And I think that's it 
for August. Moving on, we're gonna move on to September. If I missed anything, then I missed it. But for September, I have Walmart. I'm gonna say early September for some of the stuff, candy bowls and trays and that kind of stuff early. Um, but then they're full blown Halloween decor. It's, it can be late September sometimes, but I'm gonna say start looking after Labor Day. Keep an eye out on the school supplies because once those are gone, you know, Halloween is coming in. It just depends on the area out here. They're super slow putting stuff out at Walmart. I feel like I'm almost to freaking October every year. Then I'm gonna say Target. Target is usually after Labor Day every single year. Sometimes I feel like you get a staff that's super excited about it and they'll start putting stuff out before Labor Day. But for the most part, all Targets I usually see after Labor Day, they'll put stuff out. But fingers crossed it's end of August, but I don't know, I'm gonna say after Labor Day because that typically seems to be the trend. So just start checking your target. Very tail end last couple days of August, early September. I also have Starbucks here. I have September 20th, so mid-September for Starbucks. And it's in Target usually, so the Target Starbucks. So if you're going to your regular Starbucks looking for it, I don't even know that they sell the seasonal stuff at the regular Starbucks or if they just told me they didn't because I was stocking them. I'm not sure what the truth is there, but I know it's at <laughs> the Target Starbucks. Um, also for September, I'm gonna put in Costco and Sam's um, because my mom got this really cool animatronic last year. There's like a bride and groom skeleton situation that sings I Got You Babe. So I would say after Labor Day, once again for Costco and Sam's Club. And then World Market is usually super late like late September, early October for World Market every year. So if you are checking World Market and you're like, World Market has nothing, are they not doing Halloween this year? They are, I think, are the latest store in like all the stores. And of course, in September, we still have all the other stores I mentioned in August, all the online stores, all the in-store stuff. A really quick overview of September. We just have a couple things in September. Of course, everything we mentioned before, I think we're gonna see a continuation of Halloween. We do have some stores that are just putting stuff out in September. One of them being Target, which I'm saying either before Labor Day or if you don't see it before Labor Day, it's gonna be after. Also, Walmart, um, it could be any time in September. I'm gonna say early September, I'm hoping this year, but sometimes I don't get it out until way later or it takes them a while to get it out so you'll see it come in waves. All right, Starbucks, mid to late September for Starbucks uh, when they get their Halloween cups out. I'm sure we'll see a spoiler kind of situation in months before, probably August. Also, Costco and Sam's or any of those big warehouse places. September is when you'll see some of those animatronics and decor kind of stuff. Um, and then also I have World Market on here. I'm gonna say mid to end of September. They're usually pretty late to the game. And also I have Aldi that I forgot to talk about earlier, but Aldi, I'm adding to this list, very tail end of September into October for Aldi. Also during September, I'm putting Disney once again, because I know for sure it's gotta be getting into fall mode, Halloween mode at Disney during September. All right, two other places I totally forgot to mention. First is Burlington, which I'm gonna say is early September, possibly end of August. But I think I started just seeing the beginning of Halloween at Burlington at the very beginning of September last year. So I'm gonna say September uh, and also Yankee Candle. So I'm gonna put Yankee Candle here as well in September. So in October, I have something here about Target. So a couple years ago, they had a very late Target Halloween theme. Did they have one last year as well? But sometimes they'll sneak in a little bit of a late Target collab um, in October or end of September, early October. So keep your eye out for some things like that at Target. Pretty much in October, it's pretty, this is not supposed to rhyme, but here we go. Pretty much in October, it's already picked over. <laughs> a lot of people are decorating first week of October, so a lot of stuff is sold out. All right, so just a quick recap of October. I just have a couple of things. October, I just have a potential late Target release, not for certain it's gonna happen. It's only happened, I think, once or twice. But also, I have Aldi for October. So check your Aldis throughout early October, and I wanna say that's pretty much it, although I'm sure there are some little Halloween shops that open up and that kind of thing. So also, I wanna mention, last but not least, there's, of course, the all-year-round shops, like uh, Oriental Trading Company, 
uh, Lakeside Collection, Grand and Road, uh, and Christmas Traditions. They usually sell Halloween all year round. Of course, Amazon, you know, sells stuff all year round as well. And then around the same kind of time as everywhere else, so July into August, they'll add more Halloween stuff throughout the season. And of course, Etsy always has spooky decor. So if you're wanting to buy from small businesses and that kind of stuff and creators, um, Etsy is always a really good option as well for all year round. So, all right, anyways, that is it. We just jabbed our jaws for 300 years about Halloween and I wouldn't have it any other way. I hope it didn't bore you to death, but you know I'm all excited. I'm so excited for June. We're gonna be out Halloween decor hunting with good old Mr. Skeleton. Are you feeling it? Like I'm feeling the energy finally. It's been a really rough, it was a rough winter and spring. Did anyone else feel like that? And now we're entering into summer, which I normally hate, but Halloween decor hunting has changed my entire feels about summer. So we're getting into this. We're gonna be sweating out there in the freaking heat. You know, miserable Marie will be with us every step of the way. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't give it a thumbs up, say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments, cause you know, I love talking to you. Also let me know your favorite store to shop for Halloween stuffs down in the comments. Um, and also anything else you want to talk about, any stores that I forgot and when you think they'll come out with stuff uh, or anything like that. And you could also just chit chat about Halloween and how excited we are. And if you're a spooky family member and you want to leave all of the Halloween emojis down in the comments, it is our time. Um, if you want to become a spooky family member, I'll put all that information down in the description box for you. Um, it's kind of like Patreon, but here on YouTube. So I drop different spooky emojis you can use in the comments. I also have some exclusive content, videos, music, that kind of thing. So I'll put that information down in the description box for you. Um, you also get a little special spooky badge next to your name when you comment, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, anyways thank you so much for hanging out with me and chit-chatting about all things Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.